Hmm. Also, we've got Alex Sivio. Hey Ko, I don't really watch streams because of time but devoted YouTube watcher. Also I recommend going for 8 coal generators immediately for peace of mind. Also coal can go straight from miners. Cool! Okay, thank you very much for that. And uh, yes, we are going to be working on that right now actually. Uh, we're, we just got to coal and we are currently kind of figuring out what we're going to do. Okay. Here are our coal things over here. Hey, Burb. Guys, he was coming right for me. I had no choice. Damn, bro. All right. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Normal. Their weaponized plasma is most likely stored as a stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth, and only turns volatile when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Oh, thank you, Iron Milk. I'll check that out. And also, I want a backseat game, but there's quartz nearby here that could be useful in the near future. Thank you very much for that. And apparently we're going to be building here in a while, for a while. So we're going to be doing that. And uh, also, I am Porkins, dude. As a streamer, I can't tell you how much I love seeing stuff just like that. Dude, I never thought I would like Factroy building games, but this looks fun. I'm downloading right now. That is awesome. Go get this game right now. Do it right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's clear this out a little bit. I want to open this up. So I don't know how much coal we need to start with. I don't think we need to like, I don't think we necessarily need to build like all three of these and, and shovel it over. Um, oh my God, did I not bring the pool? Well, we got to make lines out here anyway. So it's not, not too big of a deal. But, um, yeah, it stinks. So where, what does the coal power thing look like? I, I vaguely, I think we had to use this area in our last run, funny enough. This area looks kind of familiar. Which is kind of awesome. Ow. Dude, I'm gonna have to make some healing or something. You guys are wrecking me a little bit. Okay. Uh, so. Can I build the water pumps anywhere in the water? Yes. Right. Okay. Oh, wait. Nope. What'd I do wrong, chat? Oh, Kixu already got it. <laughs> Never mind, we're good. So one thing that I've learned to do this run that I didn't do in my last run, that I'm starting to do more, is snap to world grid. Whenever we build new locations, snap to world grid. And that way we all have our things nice and straight for when we want to do that inevitably later. Um, if I build a foundation like this, and it goes straight, does it, it does go above the water. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. We know that from the other place. Okay. Is there any reason to use four meter foundations over like one meter? 
Do they cost the same resources? Oh, they do. No, there's not, because it's just aesthetic. Okay, cool. Great. All right. So I can I can literally, whenever I want, wherever I want the top to be, I can just go like this. I could drag it like there, right? And then we can just go to this. Cool. Okay. Now, I don't know how big we need to make this initially. So, let's do... Uh, we'll start with... We'll want coal on one side. And then we'll do, like, water on the other. So, we'll do... I don't know how big a coal thing is. Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their responsibility to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder, coal power generators require coal. I'm good. I'm good. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that hurt a little bit. That one hurt. Uh, <laughs> that one hurt. So, we need water. And we need coal. But it looks like we can put the coal in manually. But the water, maybe not. Okay. Um... need 20 more sheets okay all right so i think at this point we're ready to go back we need to bring uh portable miners how many coal how many coal generators equal how many biofuel burners that i have now equal coal generators do we know 75 per coal so what's, what's the max on the biogens? I haven't looked. Bio is 30. Oh. Wait a second. So we have, we have six bios. So we're sitting at 180. So we're going to need at least three coals. At least. And we should probably shoot for four. Let's be real. I mean, we're going to, we're going to need, I mean, hell, we probably need to do a lot more than that. Okay, um, I see, uh, as Lear just had a good suggestion that I should consider building a equipment shed here. It's a great idea. But wait, at the equipment shed, well, that's good. But, um, can I make the thing that lets me construct the materials? 
Like this, this lets me make the, the the equipment, but can I make the one that lets me make just the materials? Or is that only the, oh, is that this? Oh yeah, that's it, it's a, oh, we can, we can just make a crafting bench. I've never done this before, awesome. Okay, perfect. Hell yeah, all right, awesome. I think it's the first time we've ever done that. Okay. So, let's go do the uh, coal next. Mm -hmm. If you click the plus sign next to the building icon, it adds it to the to-do list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. The real issue is the number of coal mines you have, and if you've got MK versus MK2 miners, each coal plant takes 15 coal per cycle to generate power. So use that as your base calculation to figure out how many you want. Each coal plant takes 15 per, and a normal, with a normal, is 45. I think. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... This is a true north now. So we're going to make it true south, which is like that. There we go. Oh, normal 60, not 45. Oh. That's even better. Thank you, Dimitri, so much for that. I really appreciate you. Uh, okay, so we're going to pull you straight out. Why is this not working? I'm missing materials. I'm missing iron plates. Okay. Interesting. Is there a story to this game, or is it literally just mine, harvest, and build? So the kind of loose story to this game is that you are on an alien planet and you are helping humanity survive by basically pre-terraforming it from the sounds of it. So we're kind of like preparing a planet for potential, I, I want to say human, but we don't even, some kind of habitation in the future. Uh, <laughs> and we'll see where it goes. So um, that's, that's kind of where it is right now. Okay. So the way I'm going to want this to work, and actually I'm going to change this real quick, is we want, we're going to have at least three conveyor belts coming in and they're going to be potentially splitting as well. So we need to be using this area before as a spot for that. So like the master line, the one that's going to be carrying a huge amount of coal, and we may actually split this into three later. Actually, no, let's let's start with Yeah, actually I don't know how I'm gonna do this because it all depends on it all depends on um how much uh actual physical mass the conveyor belts can move. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll start simple and just kind of grow out as we need to. That may be the best thing to do right now. I, I can't I can't future proof too much at this point. Don't build the generators over water. Why? We have plenty of water. Are you saying that I may need the surface area of the water for water pipes? Oh, Chad is saying, okay, okay, cool. Hey, thanks. I'll take it. A lot of people in chat saying, don't waste the water. Okay. Sounds good to me, man. Oh, building much higher is fine. But you, we just want to be able to take advantage of the water, right? Is that what you're basically saying? Like, one of the things that would be cool is to have the... And, and tell me if I can do this, chat. Can we just have the... Um, can we just have the coal above the water? Because now that I'm thinking about it, I think I want to do that anyway. We could have like the water pumps be on this floor and then have another floor for the coal power. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait. Moving liquids vertically gets very painful. Hmm. You know what I need to do? I need to go back and get all the materials we need to build the water stuff. And we need to build the water stuff. 
let's well let, let me test that we're gonna go back and get all the stuff we need to build the water step <clears throat> oh bacon agaric Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, that man's just got yeeted. Mm-hmm. Well said. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barry, I did not know that. If you press X, you can select edit at the bottom of the first, or the fix-it factory switch. Wait, what are you talking about? Which one, Barry? Oh, I need, do I need to mark this? No, we, we got the coal stuff, it's fine. Is there auto run in this game? Oh. 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 How do I how do I edit it? Oh, pro. Yeah, man. Dude. Yeah, okay, we're going to paint everything that. <laughs> That's cool. You're gonna auto run straight off a cliff? I hope so. How do you auto run? Oh, hold, no, hold this. I don't think hold the sprint is it. Oh, auto release sprint. Wait, what? No, that's not it. I don't need that. I need like actual auto run. Uh, if it's even there, I don't even know. Oh, I don't think it is. Okay. Tap it once and it's on. Oh, it's a, it's a, wait, what? Say it again? It's the auto release because it stays on. Is the auto release what I'm looking for? I don't think so. No, no, no. I think that's just like to, to make it so you don't have to press the, hold the shift key when you're sprinting. I should probably do the slide jump thing more. Mm -hmm. Do you slide before you hit the ground or as you hit the ground? Oh, you just hold? Cr oh, I thought you have to actually let go of crouch. You don't actually let go of crouch, do you? you just hold it down and spam spacebar. I still want a vehicle or something. It seems kind of dumb bouncing around like that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, just run, they broke it? Oh, okay. So it's not, it's not what it used to be? Oh, get one for tickets. Yeah, we should we should do the ticket thing now. You need the leg enhancements first. Oh. Well that works too. Uh oh, what is this? Cope when making your power generation area, you should make it so that the power plants have their own power grid separated from your main grid and make sure that at least they can power themselves and keep themselves running in case your factory shuts down due to overload. Okay. That way you don't have to worry about getting them started again if you need to expand power generation. That seems like a great call. Thank you. What else do we need? What do we need for the piping itself? Oh no. We need the copper stuff and rotors. Oh man. Okay. So we're gonna need a lot of this stuff. Woo! 
Okay, got plenty of that. That's good. Uh, we gotta go research a bunch of stuff. I gotta bank a bunch of stuff, too. What's, no, we don't want to do that yet. Let's do that. Where did I put my toilet? Oh, got that too. Um, I want that stuff eventually, but I don't. Uh, clean pipeline. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know we could buy parts. It's kind of fun. All right. I wasn't supposed to, to, to flush it. I was supposed to sink it, apparently. But hey, now we know. Okay. Somebody earlier said you should try flushing a ticket. Now we know. <laughs> okay. So what did what did what did he ask, actually ask me to do? He said feed a single ticket into the awesome sink. What what is the th I thought this was this what is this thing? How do you feed a single ticket into it? I thought it only prints tickets. Give it back? That English language. Oh, put it on the conveyor. Drinky time. How do I pick one? I just want one. In a container? You have to put it in the container. Oh, just hold right click. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Does it go? Does it conveyor? Put it in the storage container the sheets are coming from. Oh. No, I don't... I, that's, no. I can't just put it on the conveyor? It's not coming from a container. All of a sudden, I don't care. To, I'll do this later. <laughs> I'll just do this later. I don't even care about this right now. Okay. I'm busy. Stop distracting me. Get out of here. I got stuff to do. Jeez. All right, I'm leaving. Jerks. All right. <clears throat> Two water pumps should be able to power five to six coal generators. Okay. It's super important. Cool. I'll do it when I get back. You could just build a second storage and man to do it. Yeah, we'll just do that later. It's fine. Select the conveyor and you'll see a box to put it in there. Really? Okay. Oh, I forgot to, oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. I am gonna do one more thing before we go because our inventory is nearly full and we have like 10 research things we can do. So I'll do that real quick and then we'll go. Mm -hmm. Is parachute faster than running? It's a little jog, quick jog. Yep. 
Oh, it just shows what items are on the conveyor? Hold on, how do you how do you select it real quick? How do you select the conveyor? I can pick things up from the conveyor, but I can't actually select anything from it. Oh, that's a Factorio thing. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, there we go there. Here. What is this? A hatcher. I don't think we've seen a hatcher yet. The remains researched belong to an organism that tends to nest near objects emitting specific types of resonance. Spitters are called as such due to their ability to create and spit plasma across long distances. Spitter remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, wait, we need to make one more of the blue things. You. Damn. All right, cool. A little bit of stuff there down to the rebar gun. I don't know what a rebar gun is. That sounds cool. Research to develop the rebar gun is now available. When completed, you will be in possession of a tool effective against any local obstacles actively objecting to the fix-it mission. Is that like an actual gun? I could make this. It is. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, don't have that yet. No idea what that is. No clue what that is. Uh, don't have the bars yet. We could do that, but that's going to take some parts. Oh, we got you. Oh, wait. Oh, you don't need the bars for them. Okay, cool. Thank you. This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Research completed. Caterium ingot recipe unlocked. New caterium research available. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its mm. synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Did I get the ability to mine this? Are these the research speech things? Completed. Silica recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Those are the speed things. Okay, so after we get our power under control, like we're gonna we're gonna get those. Okay, cool. Thanks, chat. Great. Okay. I think we're ready to head back. And also somebody brought up the really good point about this, and I think I am gonna do this. Um with the sink. We should have a storage thing in front of this anyway, and that way we can always just drop materials into it whenever we want. So we can just put this here for now. And then just put this here. So if I put a storage in line, it's just always gonna put whatever it can in, which in this case is pretty much anything, right? Yeah. 